algorithm and flowchart topics covered introduction flowchart algorithm loops and counters introduction children in our day to day life we perform many types of different tasks in computer terminology these tasks can be considered as problems every problem can be solved by following a procedure this procedure can be broken into a planned set of steps to understand this let us take an example of a task that you perform every day i e brushing your teeth in the morning step 1 get up in the morning step 2 go to the bathroom step 3 pick up your toothbrush from the stand step 4 pick up the toothpaste step 5 open the cap of the tube step 6 apply the toothpaste on the brush step 7 put the cap on the tube step 8 brush your teeth step 9 wash your mouth with water step 10 wash your toothbrush step 11 Keep your toothbrush back on the stand. Step 12. Wipe your face. Step 13. Come out of the bathroom. Here you saw that to complete a task, you had to follow a number of steps. These steps have to be followed in a particular order. For example, you cannot brush your teeth first and apply paste on the brush later. The steps involved to carry out a task have to be executed in a planned systematic manner similarly to carry out a task a computer also has to carry out a number of steps in a planned order a computer being a machine needs instructions to carry out each step it has to be clearly instructed to carry out each step involved in solving a problem a set of instructions given to the computer in a step by step manner to perform a specific task is called a computer program algorithm an algorithm is defined as a formal set of instructions when different sets of instructions are put together they form a computer program in computing a set of instructions is implemented by a computer to perform a specific work such as solving a logical or a mathematical problem it will be easier to code a program after we have well prepared an algorithm and a flow chart For example, if you want to find the sum of two numbers, you take the first number, then the second number, and add them to get addition as their result. An algorithm is written on a simple language. Let's write an algorithm for buying a birthday card for your friend. Step 1. Start. Step 2. Go to the market. Step 3. Go to the stationery shop. Step 4. Select the birthday card for friend. Step 5. Pay the money. Step 6. Take the birthday card. Step 7. Come back home. Step 8. Stop. Flowchart. A flowchart is a visual representation of a problem-solving process in which steps are laid out in logical order. It is called a flowchart since it charts the flow of a program. The program flowchart can be likened to the blueprint map of a building. As we know, a designer draws a map before starting construction on a building. Similarly, a programmer prefers to draw a flowchart prior to writing a computer program. Once the flowchart is drawn, it becomes easy to write the program in any high-level language. To make a flowchart, you need some geometrical shapes. arrows and symbols prescribed by the American National Standard Institute incorporated each symbol represents a specific type of activity different symbols of flow chart and their purpose are as follows purpose name and symbols start and terminal box start end used to represent the start and the end of the steps a flow chart can have only one start and stop box oval start slash end input output describes data to be read into the program and give or display output by the program parallelogram input slash output process instruction 
used to describe arithmetic or data manipulation operations. Rectangle Process Decision box Used for logic or comparison operations. The outflow path Depends on the answer to the yes slash no question asked. Diamond Decision Flow lines Connect symbol and show the flow of the algorithm logic. Flow lines Connector Connects different flow lines. Circle Connector Advantages of flowchart 1. Flowcharts are better way of communicating the logic of a system. 2. With the help of a flowchart, a problem can be analyzed in more effective way. 3. A flowchart acts as a guide or blueprint during the system analysis and program development phase. 4. The flowchart helps find out errors. Disadvantages of flowchart 1. Sometimes, the program logic is quite long. In that case, a flowchart becomes complex. 2. If alterations are required, the flowchart may need redrawing completely. Rules for drawing a flowchart 1. The direction of a flowchart generally flows from top to bottom and left to right. 2. The flowchart should be clear, neat and easy to follow. 3. Arrowheads indicate the flow and sequence of information. 4. You can use connector if your flowchart is too long to adjust in one sheet. 5. Only one flow line should come out from a process symbol. 6. Ensure that the flowchart has a logical start and finish. Write an algorithm and draw a flowchart to find the area of square. Start. Read side. Calculate area. Display result. Stop. Step 1. Input side. Step 2. Calculate area equals side side. Step 3. Display result. Converting an algorithm into a flowchart for adding two numbers. Algorithm. Flowchart. Step 1. Start. Step 2. Take two numbers. Step 3. Add the two numbers. Step 4. Print the result. Step 5. Stop. Start. Input A and B. Sum equals A plus B equals C. Display output. Stop indicates the beginning of the flowchart. Input statement giving two numbers to the computer. Processing giving the instructions to calculate. Processing giving the instructions to average. Output or result is displayed. Marks the end. Loops and counters. Suppose you want to print your name 500 times, the flowchart will be very long. Here, you can use counter. A counter is used to count the number of times a process is being repeated. The counter is a variable and gets an incremented number after each repetition. This repetition is called as looping. When the value of the counter becomes equal to 500, it will get out of the loop. Start. Input name. Count equals 1. Print name. Count equals country t plus 1. Is count less than equals 500? Yes. No. Stop.